Hi, this is Lee Eric Smith here with TSD's History, Hidden in Plain Sight, a series where we take you inside of historical places right here in Memphis that you drive by and walk by but may not have paid much attention to. I'm at the intersection of Danny Thomas and E.H. Crump, which is where Martin Stadium once stood until it was destroyed in 1961. But before then, if you wanted to watch baseball, Negro League baseball, this is where you would come. And what makes this place special is Martin Stadium was the only stadium, a Negro League stadium, owned by African Americans. In a sense, you could call this the starting lineup for the Memphis Red Sox, the ownership group spearheaded by the Martin brothers, who, more than 100 years ago, were among the most prominent African Americans in Memphis. That's J.B. Martin on the far left, outside the South Memphis Drug Company, the pharmacy he owned on Florida Avenue. This is William Martin, the oldest of the four. He and his brothers all attended Lemoyne Normal Institute, and William went on to graduate from Meharry Medical College in Nashville. He established his medical practice in 1907. Now, the Martin brothers were not the first owners of the Memphis Red Sox. They bought the club from mortician R.S. Lewis Sr. in 1932, along with what was then Lewis Stadium. Under their ownership, it became Martin Stadium, able to seat up to 3,000 fans. Most Negro League teams played in white-owned stadiums when white-only teams weren't using them. But with a black-owned team playing at a black-owned stadium in a mostly black section of town, Memphis Red Sox games offered a place where Memphians could buy popcorn without going to the colored counter. And while it's known as a basketball town now, Memphis was a baseball town back then. The Red Sox played in several leagues, even competing for the championship back in 1938. Among the notable players to have been associated with the Red Sox were Satchel Paige, Willie Wells, and Turkey Stearns. Even famed country singer Charlie Pride suited up for the Red Sox. In 1940, one of the Martin brothers, J.B., found himself a target of then-Mayor E.H. Crump. J.B. moved to Chicago, where he became co-owner of the Chicago American Giants. Meanwhile, the remaining Martin brothers continued to run the club until they sold it in 1960. Martin Stadium was leveled in 1961. Nowadays, the site is home to a trucking facility, but in its heyday, Martin Stadium wasn't just a place to watch baseball. It was also where African-American Memphians came to meet, to have political rallies and social events. Martin Stadium represented African-American ownership and wealth. And that is history, hidden in plain sight.